We're ready. What's up, you guys? We're doing it again. Talking about Monday's workout. Going to start off with a hip flow mobility piece. So ideally, you guys have a voodoo band. We're going to dose in with a voodoo band. If you don't have a voodoo band, we're just going to flow without it. But I really want you guys trying your best to think about all the positions. So leg back for extension, leg forward like my squat piece, maybe also getting wide. Here's my demo person. She's doing it. Hip flow. Ideally, you're doing potentially the same hip flow with the voodoo band on legs op opposing. After you've hip flowed, PVC pipe, front rack. Again, freestyle with this. Not only can we overextend the front rack forward, but we can also work on the rotation piece. Make sure that you're not holding your breath. Make sure that you're being active, moving around. And two minutes, give or take, both sides. Let's go test, retest this time. Let's check our front rack with the PVC pipe first, see where we get to, do the mobility, come back and make sure that I got a little better at my front rack. After that one, your warm up today is going to be Tabata style. That's 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. You have two movements the air squat, making sure they're the best air squats you possibly can, eyes up, knees out. And then you have the up down. We call these nerpees in our gym. Full Tabata is four minutes, that's eight rounds. You're going to alternate between the two exercises. Right away after that, you're going to go into two rounds of 10 world's greatest with the trunk twist. After that, you're going to have 20 seconds of dumbbell front rack hold. In the dumbbell front rack hold, be active. Actively be pressing up, elbows out. The front rack ideal position is what we're searching for. And then you have 10 push up to down dog. This is your opportunity really to dose in some good push-ups. If you don't have good push-ups, this is a little extra strength piece. And then some overhead work in the down dog. Make sure you're getting your head in between your arms, trying to feel your scaps. Boom, you're warm, you're prepped, ready to roll. Now we have our workout of the day, our wad. If you're not familiar with this workout, you've never been to a hotel and tried to work out before, but if you're only limited to dumbbells, like we are at home most of the time, this is like a very infamous workout. You will do 100 dumbbell front squats. Get started, and you're just gonna keep that train moving. Except for every minute, when that comes around and strikes a minute, you have to do five burpees. Make sure you move on the burpees and get your butt back to the dumbbells. Don't get caught letting multiple minutes go by. I think your goal will to always be get back to the dumbbell. Every minute you should be getting some sort of dumbbell front squat. After you get done with that easy little workout, we're going to have a finisher for quality, looking at skill of your ability to do the movement. Eight, dumbbell, Arnold, around the world. Keep the dumbbell close. Make sure your shoulders are doing the work, not your neck. I don't even know how to do your neck. And then 10 slow alternating side lunges. So this tempo is up to you. We're looking to have control throughout the whole movement. I should be able to pause and start whenever I want. After your 10 alternating, which would be five per side, you're then going to have 12 slow dumbbell curls. Slow, yeah. Squeeze at the top and go, uh, just a little. Um, what you see is that Bree is using one dumbbell with both hands. Depending on your loading, you might be able to do single dumbbell each hand, maybe double dumbbell. I don't know. You look jacked. The point of performance today, the, the, the piece that we're trying to talk about is red line. So it means go ham. Don't let the pain catch up to you. Just keep pushing at this. You should be drastically trying not to drown through this whole workout. As far as scales go, we don't have any scales. We can be adjusting dumbbells and different options with single or double based upon load. But that's going to be the jam for the workout. When you get done with that whole thing, you should feel pretty wrecked. That's a lot of movement. That's a lot of burpees. 
I want you quad smashing. So get something out that you can either lay on or put on your quads. If you don't have something to lay on, try to find something around the house that's heavy or somebody that can put their foot on your quads. Smash, smash, smash. Also think about correlating your breathing. Can I take a deep breath? Am I able to find some change with my breath? Et cetera, et cetera. Pretty doozy of a Monday. Get after it. I know, we've been over this.